This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor A.D., Pastor of True Vine, MBC, here in Houston, Texas, and I thank you so much for joining us for what I like to call the pastoral moment. This is the time I get to encourage you and enlighten you with the Word of God. And today, 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 I want to encourage you, fam. I want to encourage you, people. I want to encourage you, church, that Jesus is the answer in all your struggles, all your struggles, everything you're going through, hey, give it to God. And you must have faith at the same time, believing that he's going to handle it, believing that he's going to see you through, believing that no matter how long you stay in this trouble, how long you stay in your problems, God is right there by your side. So I have James 1 and 12, James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, because it is a test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. So, hey, you got to stand the test. You got to persevere under trials. You got to keep going on the trials. Don't stop serving God. Don't stop giving him praise. Don't stop giving him glory. Keep going to church. Keep doing your thing for Christ. And I'm telling you, you got to stand. I'm telling you, you got to stand. You got to stand in a test. Stand while the test is going on. Stand in the trouble. Stand in, in adversity. Stand in problems. Stand in drama. You got to learn to stand. Stand and face that test. Face that test that the person will see, knowing that you're going to receive what? The crown of life. The crown of life that the Lord has promised to those, to those who love him. And so that's one thing. We got to learn to stand, stand, stand in faith. Believe. Believe what God is going to do, even in our biggest and worst moments of life. And then we have John, the book of John, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. 26 verse says, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? So that's a question. That's a question, a question, a question. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. Do you believe that he's the resurrection? Do you believe that he's the life? And the one who believes in me will live. And so you know if you're in Christ, you know if you believe in Christ that you're going to live forever, that you're going to live. You're never going to die. We only die once, right? Because we what? We're, we will live in eternity. We will live in an eternal, we have eternal life because Jesus died on the cross and he got up not only for our sins, but also that we may have what? Eternal life that we only die once. And that's on this side, but our spirit man goes to heaven, absent from the body, present with the Lord. So we believe that and we must have faith and stand in faith on that and believe that we have eternal life. And then we have the book of John, again, chapter 6, verse 51. I am the living bread that, come, that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I give. I will give for the life of the world. So he is the living bread, right? And he came down, you know, he became flesh and what dwelt among us. Yes, he did. So Jesus is the bread of life. And why not eat that bread? Why not taste the bread? Taste and see that the Lord is good. Why not try him? Try him while you can. Don't wait too late. Try Jesus while you can and continue to try him, continue to reach out for him, continue to taste Jesus, continue to read the word of God, continue to pray to God, continue to worship him, continue to praise him, continue to give your life over to him totally, not halfway, totally. Again, we must learn to do that and stand in faith during your struggles. You're going to struggle on this side. You're going to have struggles. You're going to have problems. You're going to have pain. You're going to have sickness. You're going to have tribulation. You're going to have all these different things in life, but we must learn to put our faith in Jesus Christ at all times. And then our last one is Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. And it reads, nothing impure will ever enter it, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful. But here's the transition. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And I pray that your name is written in the Lamb book of life. And I pray that my name is written in the Lamb book of life. And I, and I believe and I trust and I have faith that it is written in the Lamb's book of life before the foundations of this world. And I thank God for being a chosen one. I thank God for choosing me to be in his kingdom. And I love God for everything that he has done and everything he's doing in my life right now, no matter what the situation looks like. 
I still give him praise and glory because that's the maturity in faith. And we got to learn to have that maturity in faith. No matter what's going on in our life, no matter how things look, we got to learn to have that maturity in Christ. So grow in Christ, increase in Christ in maturity, grow and um, get off of milk and get on meat and learn Christ and learn who he is and, and, and trust Christ and depend on Christ in every single situation, every single situation, not some, but every situation that he's going to bring you through it. That he's going to bring you and keep you while you're in that thing. And so that's the thing. We got to learn to do that. Stand on faith and believe who he is because he's the answer. He's the answer to every struggle in our life, as you can see. And so we must remain and do our best to live holy and to be holy. That's how we, we must do that. Learn to be holy. It's a process of sanctification. We got to learn to be holy for Christ until that great day when we be in heaven. That's when we will receive full glorification. So God bless you and I thank you so much. Remember to stand in faith. Stand in faith and believe who he is. And knowing that he's going to bring you out of every trial, every situation, everything that you're going through, just give it to God. You're not a failure. You're not. You're not. You're not. You can't quit on yourself. You can't quit on God. You can't quit on others. You must keep going. We're going to make mistakes. We're human. We're only human. We always make mistakes. But we must keep going. Let us not grow weary while in well-doing. For in due season, God will bless us if we faint not. Remember that. Remember that. So don't faint. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. Stand in faith and believe that he is the answer to every struggle in your life. Amen. 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 God bless you. Until next time, tune in Sunday. Tune in Sunday again. Going to be talking about scriptures that has been um, taken out of context. This whole time you've been in church, the whole time you have heard, the whole time you heard scriptures, whatever, it may have been taken out of context. You never know. Or you may have been quoting it out of context. We do it. So, Tune in Sunday for the word of God. Please, please, please. And thank you for supporting this channel. Continue to share this channel. Share it with others. Um, please send it to others. Post it on Facebook. Post it on, on social media. We love you and we thank you so much. We love you, love you, love you. Here at True Vine, we're praying for you. We love you. You want to know why? Because we are True Vine and we are the church of love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.